Hey everybody, Iron Fury here, and before we head off, first thing I want to do is I want to go back up the Nugget Bridge. Because, uh, you might see that little patch of grass up there, and that guy, yeah, you could fight him, and we just never did. But, um, I just wanted to fight him real quick. I'm not going to be showing the fight, because he doesn't have anything exciting. I think he has just a Rattata and an Ekans. You know, nothing we haven't seen already. And, uh, yeah, so, we're just going to fight him real quick, and then I'm going to cut it. Alright, now that we, uh, finished that, we've pretty much done everything there is to do in Cerulean, except one thing. Oh, really? You just gonna come up with that out of your ass, or do you actually know that Team Rocket did it? Oh, well, let's take a look at the damage, and holy shit. Oh, I see what you did there! Nice pun, bitch. Oh, yeah? Sounds useful. I'm gonna teach it to Mankey or Sandshrew. Hey, Manky people, might want to try that. Oh, really, huh? I guess they really did. What? Oh, yeah, okay. I guess the Rocket guys really did do it. Either way, let's kick this guy's ass. Machop, we've seen this before. I'll cut it. Okay, after you beat Machop, he's actually going to throw something new at us. Drowsy. Yes, Drowsy is a Psychic type. Uh, I can also learn Poison moves, but it's also a Psychic type, and, of course, like usual, we're going to take out Abra so it can level up. But, uh, yeah, Drowsy's a Psychic type. It's actually a pretty good Psychic type. Um, Brysolf used one for his Pokemon Blue playthrough, uh, which you can watch by checking out his channel. I'll leave a link. But, uh, ouch. Yeah. Alright, we're going to take out Spiro. Um, we're gonna see if, uh, the dark moves that I taught it, like Thief, will actually work on it. Shit, don't do too much to it. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see, is Thief gonna do a lot? No. And even though it's super effective, it still didn't do much. And, of course, Thief was disabled. No surprise there, it means I can't use Thief for a few turns, but, uh, let's try Fury Attack. See, it's already done more damage. So, either way, I think, uh... Okay. Unless we're stupid, which we won't be, but unless we're stupid and allow Spiro to faint, Spiro should be fully capable of handling this fight. Let's try Thief again just to see if it does any extra damage. No, it's not. So yeah, Spiro isn't quite up to par with handling the Psychics just yet, as far as having moves that are super effective. But, uh, it's, it's gonna learn Pursuit later, which is a little better, but not really. But that's alright. We're gonna have our own Psychic Killer later, just you wait. But, Spiro did a pretty decent job right now. So. Oh, so you did steal the TM. Okay. And he's gonna give us Dig. But, you know what? I'm a sick bastard, so I'm just gonna take it for myself. But, um... The reason why we're not going to the right is see there's a tree in our way. We can't get past that yet. We will soon enough, though. But for now, we're just going to go down this way. Uh, if you come into this grass area coming up, you can find some new Pokemon, including a Meowth. Uh, just, you know, in case you're looking for one. That house is a daycare center, but let's go in here. Well, that's not right. Just because you're thirsty, I can't pass through? Whatever, we're going to go in here. This is the uh, underground road. Not the Underground Railroad, but, uh, yeah, I'm speeding this up because if you actually look through here, sometimes you can find items, and I don't, you know, I don't want to have you guys watch this in its full length. So, yeah. As you can see, I'm not doing a very good job finding items, but, uh, you know, if you press A in random spots, you might come across an item, you might not. But, uh, in this particular case, no, I did not, you know, find any items, so we're just gonna leave for now. What do you have to say? Well, fuck you. And we are now on Route 6, which means we are getting close to Vermilion City. Up there is another path to Saffr Saffron, so... Another bug catcher. You have nothing useful. I'm cutting this fight. Oh, we got a couple junior trainers here. What do you got to say? I'll listen on you if I want. You know, you're not exactly in a private room, you know. 
Squirtle, here we go. This is something interesting. This is the Pokemon we couldn't get in Oak's lab. Well, we could have, but we chose not to. So we're going to take out our Bulbasaur and have it fight. It, it's uh, level 19, but it should still be able to handle this because, you know, water types are weak to grass, so there you go. Not bad. This thing doesn't stand much of a chance against this, though. Yeah, th this fight's a cakewalk. You're dead, you faggot! Nice. Some more experience? We're getting close to level 20, and no, you can't win. Not against me, for I am better than you. This is a private conversation, huh? Like I said, you're not exactly, you know, in a closed space where nobody can see you. Rattata, cutting this shit. We don't need to see another Rattata. Pikachu, I caught one of these before, but we never actually fought one. So, I will show this fight. And, um, you're probably thinking right now, I don't really have anything that's fully equipped to handle electric types just yet. Don't worry, I'll have something soon enough. But for now, we're gonna use Bulbasaur because, um, electric types don't... Uh, aren't very effective on grass types. However, grass types are normal effective on uh, electric. So, Bulbasaur is equipped to handle this. Oh, great, and you're going to paralyze my Bulbasaur. Great. Oh, and you're going to double team too. Y you really are a cheap bitch, you know that? You really are. I gotta slap your shit. Well, instead, I'm just gonna throw a Leech Seed on you. Because even if I miss, or if I can't attack, I'm still gonna take damage from you, even if it's little by little. So, let's see if I can put it to sleep. Really? You're still throwing Tail Whip at me? Really? Ah, Leech Seed. I love you. <laughs> it is a really good, it is a really useful move, though, in the in the early parts of the game. And it's going to be even more useful later on when we have to catch Pokemon. Certain Pokemon, anyway. Not all, but certain. Jesus Christ, you're throwing that tail up, and again, I miss with the goddamn sleep powder. Either way, though, I think we're at the point now where we're going to kill it long before it has any chance of killing us. So, I think we're pretty good here. Jesus Christ, I keep messing with this Vine Whip. Yeah, see, this is why it's good to have a Pikachu on your team that knows Double Team. But, uh... Yeah, see? We fucked that thing up, though, pretty nicely. Aww! Right there! Oh, well. I guess I'll level up in the next part. Oh, what's that? I spoke too soon? Eh, maybe so. But, uh... <laughs> I think it's no surprise now that I actually record these before I actually narrate. And we're showing this bug catcher because he has a Butterfree. He was smart. He evolved it. And, uh, this fight's gonna be a bitch. <laughs> I'm just telling you that right now. Yeah, we have Spearow, but don't kid yourself. Stun Spore. It's already paralyzed us. The fun has just begun. We're gonna peck it, watch. Oh, but look at that! He confused us as well. Meet Parafusion. Parafusion is a bitch. Parafusion, you know, you're also paralyzed and confused, but basically, you lose a good chance of attacking. I think you only have now, like, a quarter chance of attacking. So yeah, fuck Parafusion. Except when it's on our side, of course. And I'm speeding this up, because there's absolutely no way... There's absolutely no way we're going to be able to fill this whole fight in the one video, unless I speed it up. Yeah, see, look at it. This just keeps going on and on and on. This is what Parafusion can do to you people. If you're not using it, and someone else can use it on you, oh, you're damn straight they're going to use it. But yeah, there was, there was no way I was going to be able to fit this whole fight into the video with the 10 minute time limit. Absolutely not. And with that, I'm going to pretty much end the video after this fight, so... Yeah, I'm going to have to go to the Pokemon Center soon. 
but uh, we're pretty much done here, so take care.